and welcome to part two of our rock type series. In this video we will be looking at sedimentary rocks. Now with sedimentary rocks we need to understand what sediments are. Now sediments are little pieces of broken up pieces of other rock or little broken up pieces of plant and animal matter and these broken up pieces or sediments can then be transported and deposited and it can form sedimentary rocks. There are three main types of sedimentary rocks and the first one that we will look at is called clastic. When other rocks break down, these pieces of broken up rock are called clasts. That means that clastic sedimentary rocks are simply made up of other rock that has been broken down. A good example of this is sandstone. On screen now you will see a picture of Bryce Canyon. Now Bryce Canyon is mainly made up of sedimentary rocks and the type of sedimentary rock is clastic, meaning that these rocks are made up of other pieces of broken up rock. Now something to note with sedimentary rocks is that often the sediments will be deposited in nice, beautiful layers. Kind of like my jersey. Layers is a key way that you can identify a sedimentary rock. However, not all sedimentary rocks are going to have these beautiful, perfect layers. And that is where we get something called a conglomerate. Now, a conglomerate sedimentary rock is also made up of various pieces of different broken up rock. However, the pieces or the clasts that are making up this rock are slightly bigger. These clasts in conglomerate sedimentary rocks tend to be bigger than two millimeters in diameter. Our second type of sedimentary rock is called organic sedimentary rocks. Now organic sedimentary rocks are made up of dead plant and animal matter. And a really good example of this is coal. Coal contains lots of carbon, which is why we can burn it as a fossil fuel. Our third and final type of sedimentary rock is known as chemical or biochemical sedimentary rocks. When chemicals are dissolved in water and that water then evaporates, the chemicals are left behind and these can combine to form a chemical sedimentary rock. And a good example of this is rock salt. Something else that is very common with sedimentary rocks is when we have matter that is very rich in calcium carbonate. And this is found in shells and sea creatures. Now when these sediments are deposited, the weight of each layer squeezes out all this water. And calcium carbonate acts as a glue and kind of cements all of these layers together. A good example of this is limestone. This is a picture of the 12 apostles, which is in Australia. These features are limestone rock. If you want to learn more about igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks, or the rock cycle, you can click the links down below in the description box to find those videos. But often, these sediments will be... 